Hello everyone, welcome to Informatica support videos. My name is Jefflyn and I'm a part of Informatica Global Customer Support. In this video, we are going to look into the hierarchy builder transformation in IICS. Uh, as a part of this video, we're going to discuss uh, what exactly the uh, transformation is about. Then we're going to talk about the steps include in, included in using the transformation. Then we'll quickly run through a small demo and then we'll go through the uh, limitations of the hierarchy builder transformation. The hierarchy builder transformation is essentially used to convert any form of relational input into hierarchical output. In order to use the uh, hierarchy builder transformation, first and foremost, one needs to create a hierarchy schema. Once the hierarchy schema is created, the next step is to go ahead and create the mapping. In the mapping, one needs to add the hierarchy builder transformation and then associate that to the hierarchy schema that has been created. Once that is done, we need to go ahead and configure the field mapping that will link the various uh, fields from the relational input to the respective fields or elements in the uh, hierarchical schema. And also we need to define the primary keys and foreign keys uh, that give the uh, relation between the different uh, sets of data that's coming in. So once that is done, we should be able to go ahead and create a hierarchical output from any uh, input that is being passed into that mapping. Now let's just take a look at a quick demo on the use of the hierarchical builder transformation. So first and foremost, we need to go ahead and create a hierarchy schema. So let's just do that now. So I'm going to call this demo schema and I will go ahead and select my sample XML or JSON or uh, you know XSD file. So I'm going to use EMP sample that is going to pick up my sample file which I can validate and then say OK and I will proceed to go ahead and save this particular schema. Now once my schema is saved, I will go ahead and create a new mapping within which I can use this schema to convert my data. So I'm going to call this demo mapping. Now for my use case, I have in I have the need for two sources. So I'm going to just first go ahead and select both my sources. First, I'm going to select my flat file connection since I'm using flat file sources for this particular example. So that is one of my sources and the other one is also a flat file source. I'm going to select my flat file connection and then I'm going to proceed to collect, select my file here as well. So now I've selected both my input sources, I'll go ahead and include a hierarchy builder. So now in the hierarchy builder, the first step is to create uh, is to select the hierarchy schema which we just created. So let's search for demo. There's the schema. 
and in case the precision is ex uh, is expected to become higher than this value you can go ahead and give the required value but my example should fit within this so I'm gonna leave it as is and now to map the sources into my hierarchy builder so as you can see I'm getting two sets of data which each represent one of my sources so let me just expand all of this so first and foremost, I'm going to set the primary key foreign key relationship. In this use case, company name is my primary key. And name is a foreign key that is supposed to reference company name. So now once that is done, we can just go ahead and start mapping the various fields. So now my field mapping is completed. So based on this structure, my input is going to get con computed into a XML file. Now I'm going to put that into my target. And as the last step, I need to set up my target configuration. So in this case, I'm going to use a flat file target in order to create an XML file in my flat file directory. So I'm going to use the create new at runtime option and I'm going to call it demo output dot XML. Uh, now there's another important step we need to take into consideration here. That is to enable or uh, is to disable uh, the text qualifiers so that we don't have any additional characters appended to our XML file. So I'm going to set the text qualifier as none and then in advanced I'm going to go ahead and set the header option to no header. So this will ensure that there are no headers or text qualifiers appended and I just get my XML text as is in my file. So once that is done I'm going to just go ahead and save my mapping. Now once that is done, I can go ahead and run it. Now if this needs to be scheduled, you can go ahead and create an MCT which can be added to a schedule in IICS. So once that is done, let me just select the agent and proceed to run this task. Now my task run has completed. Now we can go ahead and check our output file to see how it's created. So as you can see, I have my XML file created based on the input structure that I have provided. So this is how you would go ahead and do a simple use case in IICS using your hierarchy builder. Now to look into the limitations of this particular transformation, Hierarchy Builder transformation does not support the uh, list of XSD components that are given on the slide. It does not support XSD any, XSD type, the mixed components, XSI type, default values, fixed values, or the no type uh, elements in XSD. Also, the XSD that is used to create the hierarchy schema cannot have more than 10,000 elements. 
and the last limitation that is currently there in the hierarchy uh, builder transformation is that the output precision of a hierarchy that is created can be a maximum of 100 MB. IICS will not be able to increase the precision beyond that at this point. If you want more information on the Hierarchy Builder transformation, you can refer to uh, the Hierarchy Builder documentation or you can look up uh, KB articles in our knowledge base. These links will be available in the description for your reference. We would love to hear from you. So if you can give us your feedback on support videos at informatica.com or you can leave us a tweet on Informatica support, Infa support. Thank you for listening to Informatica support videos. Have a nice day.